Hello everybody, what's up? Cedric and CJ here, CR Wrestling Commentary, answering viewers, and it's uh, one right now. So this is a, uh, it'll be like, you know, Return of the Mac. A blast from the past? Yep. And this is Tyler Jones. And this was three days ago. And I'm sitting here like, and you might think I might not even comment. No, I'm commenting. I do what I do. Cause I enjoy y'all, you know. I feel like it'd be disrespectful if I if I didn't. Now if we had a whole bunch of people they doing comments. We 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 I was like, okay. I don't know if we can comment on all of them because if some of them are silly, like you know, um, John Cena sucks, or I don't, I'd be like, I'm not I'm not going over that, you know. Nah. Like thanks, Yanni. Thanks for coming out. Yeah, I. <laughs> but uh. He says, I see your hatred in indie style is still strong. Yes, no. Yes, no. And I'll explain. I view indie style like I view school. <laughs> An abomination to the, to the human race? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> school is the building, right? Yeah. It's the people inside that made it suck. Okay. Indie wrestling is just independent wrestling. But when, uh, I can't remember what GCW Nimrod said, it, but the indie style, I was like, so that's what the problem is? Y'all went from independent wrestling to making the independent wrestling style. And that is what messed it up for me. Because now they all got to do it. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. At first, when Joe and Punk did it, okay, you know, the heavy hits, the strike exchange, all right. That popped the crowd. That popped the wrestlers. The wrestlers want more money. They got to pop the fans. They got to do what the big dogs do. So they do it and don't do it right. And no one tells them how to do it right. So they teach others how to do it just as wrong as they're doing it. And that's what happens. The indie style is not something I want to dislike, but they won't do anything to let me like it. Look, the National Wrestling Alliance is an independent promotion. And they have, a, from what I could tell, a highly traditional style that I'm not even watching. I just don't have the care to watch it. And I saw in the little... I'm still subscribing to them on YouTube. I don't even watch them. Camille is world champion again. Oh, women's good. champion. That's nice. Okay. He says, as for a... as He says, as far as Callum goes, no offense to him, but TJP should have been put in the G1. New Japan just loves neglecting talented wrestlers and just pushing overrated or, in this case, inexperienced wrestlers. Now, uh, he says, I believe Callum will improve, but right now, he has much to learn. And I can't, I can't thoroughly disagree, and I can't thoroughly agree. Because I get where he's coming from. So then why can't you completely agree? Because Tanahashi, if this is a shoot... He's trying to get more newcomers into the G1 and to be showcased in New Japan Pro Wrestling. That's great. Allegedly, that's what he has said. So, the G1 is a world stage event. Mm -hmm. So, put the new people in there. You know, let everyone see the new talent of New Japan Pro Wrestling. You know, Kojima, uh, Hiroshi, uh, Yuji, they're not, they're not spring chickens anymore. You know that they're, they're very seasoned roosters. They're fourth generation wrestlers. Mm -hmm. You know, you can love your bread. You can be the buffalo. You can be the insane guy. But you, the, your time is running. I, I I understand that, but there are new guys that would be new faces to G One that are more experienced than Callum appears to be. 
Yes. Yes. And that's what I'm talking about because he does need the experience. And sometimes the best experience is putting him on that world stage where at the same time, you want your world stage to have the most experienced people. Especially you want to put the ones up there that actually has a chance of winning the G1. Yeah, and you want Callum ain't it? And you don't want to put someone up there where the opponent has to stand there like a table while you jump on him. So you see why I can't fully agree or disagree? I get what Jones is saying, and I get what you're saying. I get what Tanahashi is saying. I understand it all. So I can't just no nah, or yeah. I I got because I, I can see it. Would I put him up there? I can honestly say I don't know. It just depends on the pool that's in the company. And if I want to really showcase some new people or get someone that I believe in that epic experience so they can say, this is where I am. And now I know what to do. And But on, on top of that, the pool that's in the company doesn't truly matter. It do. I mean, they've had people who weren't in the company being G1 before. Yeah, yeah, you, you're right. Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place with this one. I will silently say no, I would not have included Callum, but I do not like poorly done double foot stomps, so that's that's where I'm coming from. Yeah. And see, I'm not a fan of Callum. I'm not liking him. I'm just not, but... That he should go to, to AEW. He, yeah, and they, he they, would flourish like all of the half flourish flowers. He'd be there. injured in two months, um, <laughs> and he'd be well paid to find his own doctors. Thumbs up. <laughs> Bye. We love you. Okay, so <laughs> he says, "I believe the old." He, he says, "I miss the old Red Narita." I miss Narita, who was allowed to wrestle and not act like a cheap version. Of cheater Tai Chi. Look, all right, Jones. All right, bruh. She's just gonna knock you out for saying something bad about Tai Chi. Oh, shut up. Tai Chi what? could. What? I don't, I don't care. You do? I don't care. Why would we get on the microphone? You always. You, you know what? No, you know what? You're a player. You're a player. Can you two face? Could you talk about Tai Chi as. And, and just. Oh yeah, let me name this. You want she, I want her to make a wrestling fire pro, and she's gonna sit there and be like, "Okay, can it be Tai Chi or Tai Chi like? So can I'm he a, wear black so, and go?" So y'all, y'all know this. This man's lying, right? I'm lying. Tai Chi don't even come out my mouth. I don't. I've never lied. I might tell an alternate fact, but I don't lie. Okay, alternate facts. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna start campaigning <laughs> soon, are we not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, 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 when, when when I read, I did, that's as far as I got when I saw it in the email mm -hmm. those uh, three days ago. But I was like, uh, I can't call him a cheap version of Cheetah Tai Chi yet because not until we get in there and wrestle Cheetah Tai Chi, just but. If it he, was boring. But if Jones has been keeping up with, because we haven't been keeping up with New Japan until this G1. He's probably seeing what we can't see. Exactly. So he, he's got more experienced eyes on him. We would have to hang in there to after the G1 and be able to make a determination about if this is a poor recon, a poor or successful reincarnation of Tai Chi. What the <laughs> hell? He says even old Tai Chi was better than this weak ass version of Red. Oh, wow. Good grief, man. What? Okay, it must be something out of the G one that you've been seeing because I'm I haven't been. I see, God, he's infecting me. I'm like I'm seeing what he's talking about because in all of Ren's matches he does have to do some form of cheating like evil. Yeah, is he part of the House of Torture? He is. We have heard Evil say this I think two different times. We have the worst matches. And we're the evil most didn't successful. say it. No. no evil, I, okay, then he must have been just translating what he wanted to say. He was. Oh, That's okay. what he was. Okay. Yes. But he does have the worst matches. Oh, no, he don't. We've seen some horrible matches. And, yeah, and they were evil. Let's talk about, let's, 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 let's New Japan. Mm. 
New Japan. You're hurting my feelings. We were watching it. it we, what would we do? Wouldn't we kind of? Oh, that was then, though. This is now I'm talking about. It's the same dude. He all right? Yeah, I see what I'm working with. He's what? <laughs> it's gonna get old, man. Unless, I know. Unless I you, know. Unless you were creative, that that evil style healed him. Gonna get old. Old like two days ago, greens man. It's gonna get old. Yeah, it was old greens man. He said Hanari versus ELP was pretty good. Do you think everything a wrestler does is indie? No, he says. Just saying. No, you're not just asking. You're implying, and there's a little bit of belief behind that. Don't even try me, bro. Don't even try me. No, not everything a wrestler does is indie. There's okay, like okay, okay, okay. Look, if a wrestler does a power move, slams someone to the mat, and then just turn their back and start taunting to the crowd, flexing muscles, ad nauseum, that's indie. If a wrestler does a cool move and just pause with their back to their opponent, that's indie. That's Christian. No. That's indie. My my head can't. Christian turn will anymore. knock somebody down. Uh-huh. It'd be a DDT, a suplex. Uh-huh. Okay, or body slam. Something heavy. Uh-huh. And he'll look at him, he'll start catering to the fans, yada yada, just to mess with them. And he never keeps his eye off his opponent. If he does, it's not long. I have actually been watching that. No, I'm talking about who to come right off the top rope, flip out of it, land on your feet, and stand there. The opponent that did the move to you is not damaged. And you know that they are not. As a pro wrestler, you should know that work-wise, that attacker should not be hurt. So why stand there like it's an epic anime moment? Because... That is what they are going for. It's they indie. Want it's attitude. I mean attitude. That's All the dr- drama. Attitude. They don't know how to do it right. Attitude was great for drama across the board. Check this out. out. The, wait a minute. Let me finish. Man. Out the ring, in the ring. It was WWE meets the Young and the Restless. And the Young and the Restless part has not left. It's just entrenched itself into what they do in the ring. For example, I can't remember who. Oh, Osprey. Uh, MJF was wrestling Osprey. He did something. Osprey flipped out of it. That's what and, I just went over. Okay, he's just sitting there looking. <gasps> he didn't sound the way he should have sounded. <gasps> did he land on his feet? Okay, first of all. And then Osprey's in the back, like, yes, I am all that is awesome. All that was stupid. Both of them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But unfortunately, it has come to be expected. Okay. And it is it is a pleasure when you don't see that. And that's why watching the G1 has been such a pleasure because that stuff is at an absolute minimum. Let me go ahead and kill that shit. Let me kill that indie shit with this. If I were in Osprey's situation and I flipped out that top rope Frankensteiner and I landed on my feet I would land solid and turn around to be giving him a stare like you know you ain't done shit to me I'd be staring at him I wouldn't have my back turned mm-hmm. I wouldn't be sitting over my back eventually Osprey turned and he was looking behind him yeah but, meantime, but it would I would have landed bam and turned around like bro this ain't over they created a moment so everyone including the crowd had to Soak it in. And th- that's why it's indie. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying it ain't indie. Indie style <laughs> is useless stuff. Indie style would be an avalanche brain buster transitioned into a falcon arrow picking him up. German suplex. The person that just got German suplex after all the other stuff get up and they just power up. Ah, and the one that did the move turns around like, I don't believe this. And then the one that's they all charged up and stuff with charge and then get clothesline with an epic lariat that should kill anybody. And then the person that did the lariat wouldn't even try to pin him. Just pick him up. Yeah. That's indie shit. That's what I don't like. That's what I don't like. 
I think it's all right to dislike that shit. Oh, it is. I'm saying is you're right. It, it sucks. I'm just saying it's come to be. I've come to expect it. So yeah. I'm pleasantly surprised when I don't see it. Just like you know, politicians are politicians. It. I, I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised. I can watch an indie match and within that indie match see a lot of things that I like and or love until they get to certain a lot of certain things. I was like, that's just dumb. That's that's just where that is. I'm like, I can't like GCW, man, I done seen how they could take over the wrestling business easily. I've seen it. I know what it is. I've seen seen that glory they're not going to pull that trigger they're not going to do that but they would they at one point they could have driven wwe under if they went national with what they was doing i saw it i was like that's scary if they could see what i was seeing but I, they, they weren't gonna do that this ain't my first time saying that um he says zach versus Okan was a good technical wrestling bout. Okan is too under underutilized and underappreciated. We agreed yeah. with that after he came back from uh his ex excursion. excursion in Rev from Rev Pro mm -hmm. and I think a little bit of CMLL, but primarily in Rev Pro, I think mm -hmm. that's where he was. Yeah. I haven't done I, I we saw him in Rev Pro. Yeah. And then we saw him once he came back and joined the what is it the United Empire? Yes. Yeah. But we, awesome. I, I'm saying CMLL because people from Japan got a habit of going there. <laughs> so I just I just blindly say that. Uh, he says uh, he has slowly gotten better every year. He just needs the big win. They're not gonna give him the big win because I'll, I'll be honest with you. Okay, they, dude, Okan should have been. IWGP champion, I'm going to say a year and a half ago. But New Japan can't let go of certain stars. Like, they won't go let go of Okada. Won't go let go of Naito. Man, how long did it take Sonata to get it? Uh -huh. Okada going to have to wait. Sonata. <laughs> it, it, the thing is, it took him forever. And then uh, Shingo Takagi. Hey, I think he's only had it once. Yeah. yeah, it's it's gonna be. Uh, and Okan is young. Yep, he's young. He was he was little Oka. He's got to win some never open weights and some other stuff first. It's it's gonna be a while. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. They're gonna wait until he's like forty one, and then he'll win it, and then he'll lose it like in three or four months, and then the, he'll try to get it by the time he's forty four, forty five. But they didn't aged him out, so it's just like, why are you trying? That's that's what they gonna do. It's possible. Goto know. should be, Goto should probably be champion, but maybe he's lacking promo, or they just say, "Well, you know, you're in your mid forties. It's uh time to pack it in, man." And yeah, Naito's gonna ring it out until all the ring is done. He's forty one. Yep, he got two to three years left. Um, let's see. He says that I I really hope Zach wins the G one this year. Uh, uh, I don't know. I think he's going to win. Him or Naito will win. That's kind of where I'm at right now with that. I don't think Naito's going to win. Uh, I can see Zach winning. I would like for Zach to win. I like, honestly, I'd like for Cobb to win. They ain't yeah. going to let him win, though. Cobb, I think he's going to, I don't know how many people are in it, but if there was like, normally, Cobb is somebody that would end with about eight points. If, if the maximum is is like fifteen or eighteen, Cobb will have eight. I think the last time we watched it and he was in, I swear he had like twelve. He was decimating the field, and he is in better shape now than then. So we don't know what they're gonna do. Tanahashi, I don't think he's running New Japan, but he's president, so he's got some say, some sway. Hope he ain't just a mascot that's president. I hope so. Uh, Cobb versus Goto was a very good. Hoss fight, yes. Mm -hmm. I know Goto uh, is not going to win, but I still want to see him try. Yeah, that's about where it is. Yeah. Uh, Lee versus Sanada was too short. I expected a longer bout. 
Jake Lee comes off as a smug heel you want to see get beat up. It was the it was the first bout, so he still has a chance to show off. He would have shown his skills if it was longer. You know what? He he's he's, he's spot on with that. Yeah, because in a longer match, we saw more out of him. Exactly. Yeah. I wasn't happy with him and Naito. That was just almost a train wreck. Um, Finlay versus Yuya was good, and the ending was unexpected. I thought David was going to win, but Yuya winning was a nice surprise. He says, okay, I will not stand for Gabe Kid slander. <laughs> <laughs> man, let Gabe Kid do something not worth slandering, and then I won't slander him. The man has improved so much since his days as a young wrestler in the UK. He has? Oh, crap. So this is him improved? <laughs> Once the stupid is over, Gabe Kid is awesome. He's Bullet Club. Oh. That's what it is. And he, he has to do that. And he's supposed to be the madman, so he's got to do crazy stuff. I think Gabe Kidd should not be in Bullet Club no more. He's got to be harebrained and you know, he, cussing every other word. <laughs> yeah, I admit that is entertaining. I'm going to give it that. He is the only man that almost made Evil go back to his old self until Dick got involved again. And look, you can't be slandering Dick. <laughs> you can slander dick all you want. <laughs> Somebody need to put dick out the pasture. <sighs> Gabe at least does not post pictures of himself hanging with baby faces because he is at least uh he at least understand kayfabe. Ah. Okay, I don't know what you're referring, but. Somebody, somebody, somebody must, up. yeah. <laughs> somebody messed All, up. Somebody messed up. One, it must have been Finley or Evil or or Dick that he must be talking about. He is an old school brawler and loves fighting everybody. Look, okay, all right, all right, Jones. Officially, I will say this. Um, like I said, the what I've seen of Gabe Kid. I haven't been completely happy with. But once he the wrestling starts in the ring, in that ring, it's good. That he can go. It's good. And I can see I can see the champion he should be. But this all that outside the ring stuff, yeah, it's just unnecessary. It it takes away his awesome. If you, so if you can like Gabe Kid and dislike Red Narita, then you have a cognitive dissonance going. It's like if you can't maximize your heel while in between the ropes, then you are a poor heel. Yeah, you got to be you got to be able to be a heel in the ring. Use the ring to your advantage. You got to be able to be a heel in the ring without a chair or the the bell or a barricade or an extra person. If you can't be a heel just all on your own. So so tell me. Tell me, Cedra. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is, I'm going to leave New Japan for a second. I got to get in the fire pro for a second. Is that what you're going to do for hierarchy? Is that what you want the rules for hierarchy to be? No cheating with chairs, no weapons. Just do it in the ring. Hell, who uses weapons? They all get a weapon sometimes. They get outside the ring and pick up a weapon. Yeah, but nobody ever lands it. <laughs> Nobody ever hits can, anybody. <laughs> y'all just suck at weapons. <laughs> they swing, but it's just practice. Everybody hits y'all though. Everyone else's accuracy is great. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with hierarchy. Maybe maybe you chose the wrong faction. No, my faction's good. Yeah, they just can't swing a fucking weapon in somebody's face. So you know. Maybe you should have joined DWA, you know. No, and be a part of your 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 stable of ladies. I don't think so. There's a couple of guys in there. Your stable of ladies. Yeah, I said it. Wait, you jealous? You mad? You mad, bro? Come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you just mad they can whoop your ass. That's all that is. Who can whoop? All of them. Tekii, Nikumu, Mala, Dollar. All of them. They they would. They, they, They'll, they'll destroy you. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Dollar, not so much. All right. So, look. 
A Gabe Kidd, I'd like to say he's an old school brawler with you, but he shows way more than that. Yeah, he does. He's a fighter. He is that brawler type, but it's something extra. And I, uh, I know I bring it out of him. I know I would. Nobody else is going to. I see it. But uh, anyway, he says Suji versus Konosuke was good, a good hard-hitting bout. Konosuke is one of those wrestlers that actually lives up to the hype and delivers in the ring. Yota has been great ever since he returned to New Japan Pro Wrestling last year. Naito versus Shingo was good, but their first G1 match was slightly better. Yeah. Yeah, Naito and Shingo, this this was not good this time. But when we first saw him, mm-hmm. yeah, they turned, they, they was on, that was a different level compared to this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling takes Naito for granted. Oh, they they have. I miss Naito destroying that damn belt. He was slamming it on the apron oh, and against the post. The IC belt. Yeah. yeah. He jacked that belt up. He is loyal to the company for years. And how they repay him, they F him over again and again. Even with his bad knees, Naito is trying so hard to put on good matches. And we was talking about that, the fact that Naito was like, Naito's got, he had to have been ever bit of maybe 230, maybe tops mm-hmm. when we got back into New Japan, New Japan. But then now he's he's got to honestly be somewhere around maybe 218. Yeah. He's got to be somewhere around there. I was like, them knees were wrapped up and they used to be heavier wrapped. They're not as wrapped. So long as he ain't wearing them braces, he's fine. Yeah. Uh, so far, I am enjoying. So far, I am enjoying the G1 this year. New Japan Pro Wrestling keeps saying that they are going to make some changes. Yeah, every company says that, and they don't. The question is, will the changes be good, and will they commit to them? New Japan Pro Wrestling have let have let me down so many times in the past. Yeah, and that's the issue with New Japan Pro Wrestling. They, they let people down if I tell y'all I'm gonna I'm do something or I, or I want to do something you can trust to believe that it's good I'm gonna try you know but yeah this right here New Japan it's under new leadership we'll see how it go yeah we'll see how it go you know when they say they're gonna be something new give them six months you know uh, this is part of that new yeah you might, you know, clearly we we don't like all that's in the new the in the G1 climax, but it's so much better than using the wrestlers that can't go like that anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you don't put your fourth generation wrestlers in there that and then are humiliate them. Yes, lose every damn match. That's just stupid. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so hopefully. You know, Jones, that they 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 do better because that's all we want. Do better. You know, we got one life, and we don't want to spend it watching a company lie to us over and over, and then blame us for not watching. It's like, no, you should have done what you said you were gonna do. Should have been better. Yeah. You know, so look, that's gonna do it for us. We got other stuff to watch and do. So that's going that's been. Cedric, Cedric for CRS the commentary, answering viewers. And with that, I want y'all to be cool, be chill, be safe. And with that, hopefully, Jones, and anyone else out there, we'll see you next time.